I'm Ollie Kensington and this is just a really quick little tip for editing together action sequences. I don't necessarily mean guns blazing and ninjas flipping off of walls and it could simply be someone walking, it could be someone going to shake someone's hand, anything like that where there's a cut um, that's required to a different angle with that action taking place. Having said that, I have actually filmed <laughs> a ninja doing flips and jumping off of things. It was something that I was shooting for Atomos. Uh, I'm going to use some of the rushes that we brought back from that shoot to just demonstrate this concept really quickly. So the way this works is quite simple. The first thing that we want to do is we want to get the timing just right. Now the way I approach this is I look out for anchor frames and by that I mean frames that you can find really quickly and easily in, in both shots. You'd be looking for maybe the point where he leaves the ground, the point where his feet impact the concrete block that he lands on. He then leaves that as he backflips, so that would be another anchor frame, the point exactly where his feet leave the concrete block, and then the point where he lands again. So phase one, find these anchor frames and then ripple until those anchor frames are next to each other. So you've got the cut happening on the anchor frame. And then you can't, it's almost impossible to get the timing wrong then because it's the point where his feet leave the ground or the point where his feet impact the ground. It has to be right and it's very easy to spot that in both shots. Each cut you leave in your edit is an opportunity for your viewer to notice what you've done. Every single time there's a cut, that's another opportunity um, for you to potentially distract them. And you don't want to do that as an editor. You, you want them to be thinking about the story, not, not your editing. That cut, which in itself is quite distracting, happening at such a key moment, something that by its nature is easy to spot and stands out, is a double whammy. You're actually leaving it somewhere where potentially someone's going to now think, oh, that was abrupt, and that, that takes them out of the moment. So although that's great for getting the timing right in phase one, it's actually the last place we want to leave the edit. The way the roll tool works is it takes frames off of one clip and adds the same amount of frames onto the following clip. So if you were to roll back, say five frames, you've taken five frames off clip one, but you've added five frames to the beginning of clip two. So your timing hasn't changed because you're doing the same thing to both sides of the edit. What you're going to want to do is to roll that back or forwards to roughly halfway through the action. And what that comes down to is, is motion blur, actually. And, and what we're looking for is the point where, in reality, we would probably blink. And you can actually do a really simple experiment for this. If you just sit and, and face forwards and leave your torso stationary and just look over your shoulder, what you'll find is that you blink at about halfway. And the reason for that is that there's a part of your brain that's always trying to find an appropriate time to blink. There's nothing useful coming through, there's no useful visual information here because it's just full of motion blur. Find those anchor frames and ripple to them to get the timing right. Then follow up with the roll tool to come back. It will maintain the timing because it's rippling both sides simultaneously and you'll be able to move it back or forwards when it will feel most natural to the viewer and therefore they'll ignore it. And you should find that your cuts become so much more seamless and, and so much more professional. And it's a relatively simple and quick technique that you can learn. So give it a try next time you're cutting something together. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think if you like. Use the comments below. Um, drop me a line. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what people think.